Hello everyone. Welcome to this lecture on drug patents. So first of all, what knowledge do we have? We know that there are some drug regulatory authorities such as in US it is FDA, in Europe it is European Medicine Agencies, EMA, and in India it is Central Drug Standard Control Organization. Now we have seen that there are four phases in clinical trials, phase one, two, three, and four. And uh, we have seen that the drug development process starts from the basic research in the labs. Then it goes to the animal testing that is pre-clinical test. Then they sponsor files for the IND application, investigational new drug application to the FDA and the drug goes into the phase one of clinical trial, then phase two, then phase three. And after phase three, with all the data of these phases of clinical trials, phase one, two, and three, the sponsor again goes to the FDA with the new drug application. And after the approval of this new drug, it enters into the market and the post-marketing surveillance starts. That is phase four. So we all do know all this. Let's continue. So today we will start with what is intellectual property. Then we will continue with the patent. Then we will see that what are these drug patents. And finally we will end with understanding what is off patent. So let's. So first of all, what is intellectual property? So it refers to the creations of the mind, such as inventions, such as literary or artistic work or, or some designs or symbols or names, images. All these are the creations of mind and they all comes in the intellectual property and they all are used in the commerce. That is important. It is used in the commerce and they all are protected in the law. So if you have invented something, if you have some uh, literary work or some artistic work or some design or some symbol name or images which you are using in commerce, then you can apply for protection of the law and uh, you can apply for the patents or copyright or trademarks. Okay, so, the, so these all are types of intellectual properties, patents, copyright and trademarks. So the benefit, of course intellectual property right, you are applying for it, you are applying for a patent or copyright, for what? So that you can earn recognition or financial benefit from what? you have invented or created okay simple so what is patent of course a patent for an invention is granted by the government to the inventor giving the inventor the right to stop others for a limited period from making, using or selling the invention without their permission. So it is what is patent. So the patent is a form of intellectual property that is granted to the inventor an exclusive right for his or her invention but for a very limited period of time. So it's not like endless. You have a patent, but for a limited period of time. So what is drug patents? So as we know that the drug development is time consuming process. It takes around 10 years to develop a new drug and as well as it is very expensive process. It almost costs around one to four billion dollars okay so the innovator company 
files for the patent of its new drug okay and the patents are granted any time during the development of a drug so it is not necessary that uh, the innovator company should apply for the patent only after the marketed only after the drug is in the market the innovator company may apply for the patent during the development also okay and uh, during the patent protected period the patent owner of a drug has exclusive rights to uh, of course market and sell the drug hai na and uh, so how long is this patent period na? that is the point that uh, if the patent is given to the innovator company to market and sell the drug then how long is this patent for uh, patent period so the patent period the term of a new patent is 20 years from the date on which the application for the patent was filed it is important that the patent period is of 20 years but it starts from the date the application is filed for the patent okay so suppose innovator company applies for the patent during phase 1 okay so innovator company applies for the patent during phase 1 and the development itself took 10 years first phase 1 then phase 2 then phase 3 then fda approval and this whole process took suppose 10 years then what happens is that after approval the innovator company has only 10 years left till the completion of this 20 years period so innovator company enjoys only 10 years of patent protection to market the drug okay so it's an important concept so what happen when the patent expires okay so patent has expired 20 years is over now any manufacturer company can develop an equivalent non proprietary or generic product and market it okay so what is a generic product it is an exact copy of the innovator product and it has same therapeutic effect okay and these genetic preparation are much much cheaper because they didn't bond huge development cost which the innovator company had to bond okay so that is why they are much much cheaper so next is what is of patent of patent simply means that the drug is no longer protected by the patent and after patent expiry of course we know that of patent generic medicines can come to the market but not only of patent generic medicines but also of patent branded medicines can also come to the market okay so what knowledge we gain we know that intellectual property are simply the creations of the mind they are protected in law for examples are patents copyright and trademarks what is a patent it is an exclusive right granted for an invention drug patents are for 20 years from the date on which the application for the patent was filed and after patent expiry equivalent non proprietary or generic products can come to the market these are the references you have an assignment share in the comment sections
that what are the differences between generic and brand name drugs. Thank you. Do subscribe, like and share. Thanks a lot.